was another one of those games where a lot of, you know, who got the loose ball yeah. determined the outcome. Yeah, I, I thought that was a big part of it. I thought we played pretty well defensively. Uh, first half offensively, we were really good. Second half, for the most part, we were pretty good. But they uh, they got about 12 points out of 50-50 uh, balls, as you like to call them, and uh, they picked them up and converted. I guess the ones on missed foul shots are the ones that really hurt. Well, those too. are those are. I wouldn't call those 50. That's just uh, yeah. The lack of carrying out an assignment. Um, the one in particular, we were down six. Uh, we didn't hold our box out, and something um, we just got to do. We just got to be more disciplined in that. I guess going into the game, if someone would have told you you're going to shoot over 50 percent, mm -hmm. uh, equal Virginia in, in their three-point field goal percentage, mm -hmm. you probably would have thought you had a good chance of winning the game. Yeah, and especially I think we had more field goals than by like four or five. Yeah, definitely, I thought we had a better chance to win that game, but uh, we weren't nearly as aggressive as we needed to be. Uh, when they got the lead, we didn't display a whole lot of offensive patience. Uh, we played, we were a little hurried, took some outside shots instead of attacking the basket or throwing inside. Was the free throw disparity a result of not hitting the front end of one and ones or No, it was a result of us not being aggressive. Okay. We didn't attack the basket, we didn't play inside out as much as we should have. I thought we did a decent job in the first half, we got to the foul line eight times. Um, but in the second half, again, when we were in front, we executed well. When we got behind, we are starting to show a, um, a bad trend, if you will. Like when we get behind, we're not as patient. You know, we can execute, and we have shown we can execute. But for some reason, when we get behind, we get a little, uh, a little frantic. A little over-anxious. Yeah. 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 What about your uh, defensive aggressiveness? It didn't cause as many turnovers as you normally do, which always leaves an easy basketball. Yeah. Well, they, they're a pretty good team taking care of the basketball. They only average, uh, I think, 10 and a half turnovers a game. Um, we could have been more aggressive, definitely. You talked to a lot about consistency, you know, mm -hmm. coming off a big win against Duke. You know, this kind of kills a little bit of the momentum. Mm -hmm. um, is that just because they're so young? I mean, what do you, what do you think is the deciding factor there? Uh, that probably has something to do with it. Uh, that, that contributes, but um, we just got to get better. We got to do better. I mean, it, it, I, we can talk about what the causes are, but the causes aren't going to do us any good. We, we've got to fix it instead of diagnosing it. So. Scouting report on the parties. They're a lot like us. They're young on the perimeter. They're, they're really good on the inside. Um, we like to run and transition, try to score in transition. We like to do the same. So, And both teams come in, you know, with uh, – it's a big game. It's a very important game for both teams. So it's going to be a, a pretty scrappy game. I don't think it's going to be very pretty because it's going to be a lot of bodies flying around. Two pretty angry teams, I imagine, now coming off a loss to Clemson and you guys. Uh, I know that we're anxious to play. I mean, I don't know what, you know, what their mindset is. I know we're really anxious to play. They're also very, you know, just like you said, a lot like Tech, but they're long and athletic and quick. Yeah. Does that help out a lot to match up with them? No, no I just, you know, I, I think it comes down to honestly who's, uh, who's the perimeter plays with more poise. Uh, again, we're both very young. Uh, you look at our, our guys, six of our top nine guys are freshmen and sophomores. Um, they've got, I don't know how many freshmen and sophomores that are playing. So it comes down to who's, who's perimeter plays with more poise. What does it say about the ACC when literally on any given night any team's beating the other team? It just seems like a crap shoot. It's the ACC. <laughs> yeah, somebody was talking to me today and they said, here's Virginia, the only unbeaten team left in the league after two or three league games, and they were the ones that were picked to finish last by the writers. So who knows? Who knows? So we want to